Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. TJ stole my Nautilus shells. He came right into my base, right into my base, right up through the door, right over to my fishing machine, and he stole my Nautilus shells. Don't believe me? Don't believe me? Let's check the chat. Check the chat. Here we go. Ready? It says, you asked for shells. I have some. Do you need them? Nolan is letting me have his. Ooh, interesting truth to tell a lie. Nolan probably is letting him have his, but he stole mine first. And I said, okay, because it kind of looks like you came into my base and took mine out of my fishing machine. Sorry. Oh, look at this. So you did steal mine. Sorry. Uh -huh -huh. So this guy, this guy thinks he can just come into my base and steal my stuff. Ooh, TJ, TJ, I'm gonna shoot your base. This may, may mean war. Look at that, look at that. I shot his base, pretty good. Let's see if I can shoot it again. Anyway, this, this is, this is a problem. This is a problem. I may, I may have to secure my base a little bit more securely. I mean, look at this. It's it's glass and it's a door and anyone who wants to can just walk right in. And look at this. I got treasure here. I've got, I got like a hundred diamonds right there. I've got 55 iron blocks. I've got redstone like crazy. I've got wood. I've got gold. I've got everything. And they can just walk right in and steal it. That is not okay. We're going to have to build a fortress. Now. The castle, the castle is a pretty good fortress. I might, I might have to build something up there. Maybe a safe of some sort or something that will keep my valuables safe because I've got, I've got a lot of valuables here and I do not need TJ or anybody else coming into my base and stealing my stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying. All right, I'm gonna think about that a little bit. I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to do a super fast time mode of myself building my super secret vault, but I couldn't do that because, well, then you would see where my super secret vault is and you would know all of its secrets and it wouldn't be a super secret anymore. So I can't do that. So I decided to go mining instead so I could get some more valuables to put into my awesome vault. So, uh, that's what we're going to do right now, and uh, we're going to continue reading in Psalm 119, and we are now on the uh, chapter or part called Zan. This is starting in verse 49. Remember your word to your servant, for you have given me hope. My comfort in my suffering is this, your promise preserves my life. The arrogant mock me unmercifully, but I do not turn from your law. I remember, Lord, your ancient laws, and I find comfort in them. Indignation grips me because of the wicked, who have forsaken your law. Your decrees are the theme of my song wherever I lodge. In the night, Lord, I remember your name, that I may keep your law. This has been my practice. I obey your precepts. All right, and we're going to continue into Heth. So verse 57. You are my portion, Lord. I have promised to obey your words. I have sought your face with all my heart. Be gracious to me according to your promise. I have considered my ways and have turned my steps to your statutes. I will hasten and not delay to obey your commands. Though the wicked bind me with ropes, I will not forget your law. At midnight I rise to give you thanks for your righteous laws. I am a friend to all who fear you. To all who follow your precepts, the earth is filled with your love. Lord, teach me your decrees. All right. So a lot more of the same kind of language here, um, you know, following God's laws, you know, uh, opposing the wicked, friends of the righteous. But this time it brings up another interesting point. It talks about how that if, um, you know, I am bound by the wicked and tied up with ropes kind of deal, um, then I'm still going to follow you. And that's important for us to remember because sometimes in this world, um, we're not physically tied up, but we are tied up. We have things of this world that draw our attention. They distract us. 
away from what we're supposed to be doing. And sometimes that paralyzes us or it stops us from following God. And we need to be very, very careful not to get trapped in those situations and so that we can continue to follow God. All right, so in verse 65, we start a new section. It's called Teth. This is where we're going to finish today. Um, This is a shorter one, but it's following from that um, thought process. And it says, Do good to your servant according to your word, Lord. Teach me knowledge and good judgment, for I trust your commands. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I obey your word. You are good, and what you do is good. Teach me your decrees. Though the arrogant have smeared me with lies, I keep your precepts with all my heart. Their hearts are callous and unfeeling, but I delight in your law. It was good for me to be afflicted, so that I might learn your decrees. The law from your mouth is more precious to me than thousands of pieces of silver and gold. Okay, pretty interesting here. And something I want to point out from this section, it says in verse 71, It was good for me to be afflicted so that I might learn your decrees. So David's actually thanking God for the bad things that have happened in his life and for the evil that took place in his life, which is strange because God didn't cause that evil, but God allowed David to walk through it, basically. And now David's thanking him and he's saying, listen, if I hadn't gone through those hard times, if I hadn't done that stuff, I probably never would have followed you in the first place. I never would have realized that you were the one that saves And so he's thanking God even for the bad things that's going on in his life. And that's pretty interesting and cool. Something to remember. But um, something crazy is happening outside our base. So let's check that out and get back to Minecraft. Oh my goodness, there is a raid going on. Uh, Let's check this out. Where's the last uh, pillager? Hmm. There's one remaining. Oh, there he is. All right. Uh, apparently, apparently, Nolan and uh, and Bradley started a raid. I'm not sure how they started a raid, but they started a raid, and this is scary. Um, we will have pillagers incoming in any second. Oh my goodness! All right, here we go. Oh, there they are. It's an illager beast. Oh, I missed. Can I get them all? Oof. <sighs> Accidentally shot Nolan. That's bad news. Ah. All right, got them all. Got them all. And I don't see any loot, but that's fine. Oh, there's one remaining. One pillager remaining. I wonder where he went off to. I bet you he's around the front of my house. Maybe he's inside my house. No. Oh, there he is. It's a banner villager. Mm -hmm. Oof. Almost shot Nolan. But I missed him. All right. Uh, So far, no loot. Um, Other than the stuff I got from mining. Um... Well, let's check out the next one. Um, I'd really like a banner. Um, I need another banner. All right, let's see. Here we go. Three, two, one, and... Oh, my goodness. Here they come. Here they come. (laughs) Bradley's hiding. Oof. They're going after the villagers. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. oh my gosh, I'm poisoned. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to hit one of them. Uh, kill him if I hit him. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. All right. There's another one coming. Another one. Oh my goodness. I am out of food. I need food. I can't swim. I can't run. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, where are these guys? Where are these guys? Are they over here again? Are they over here? Where? Where are they? They're on top of my base! Okay. I see them. 
Oh, no one was killed by a Vex. Crazy. Oh, I'm getting that lag thing that messes with my arrows again. Ah, I can't shoot these guys. It's so weird. Ah. Ah. Kill the bad guys. Oh, my goodness. Gonna have to bust out the sword. Gonna bust out the sword. Yes. Alright, get him from underneath. Oof. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I got an emerald. Bradley left the game. I'm not sure why he left. Maybe he was about to die. Oh, these vexes. Oof. Man, this guy hits hard. No, back off, zombie. Trying to kill this illager beast thing. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. Nolan was killed again. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Ah, got him. Got him. Alright, let's go get this banner guy. Oh, Bradley's gone. Nolan's dead again. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, all right, I'm switching to my bow. I'm getting on land, switching to the bow. Oh, yes, I want the banner and I want the emerald. I want them. All right, I got the banner. Did I get the emerald? I, I, I don't know. I think so. I think I got it. I thought I got one earlier, though. Oh, well. All right, let's see. It's just me. Let me see if I can pick these guys off. Got him and missed and got him and these guys over here let's see if i can oh can i shoot why can't i shoot there we go there we go come on. come on why am i all right and oh all right give me that vex give me that vex oh look at these guys Look at these guys. These guys are crazy. Oh, oh my goodness. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright, apparently, apparently there's one left. These drowned are going after Nolan. one. Oh, I don't, I don't see the last one. But I do see an emerald. I'm going to get the emerald. Here we go. Emerald. Now where is... Where is the last pillager? Hmm. I don't know. All I see are these drowned. I thought I just heard him. Heard him over here, maybe? Is he trapped inside the glass? That'd be really funny if he was trapped inside here. No, I don't know. Hmm. We're gonna have to find him. Alright, come on. Let's go. Uh, let's get on top of the glass, actually, and that might help us see where he's at. Yeah, let's go this way. And in here. And I don't see him anywhere inside here. Nope. Let's go over here. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. I don't know where. Maybe he's down here in this cave? Maybe like he spawned down here somewhere? Oh, yep. I was right. Alright. Oh. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Nope. There we go. Alright. Defender of the village or whatever that, that, that thing is called. What is it called? Defender of the village, maybe? I don't know what that is. Anyway, now I should I should be able to go over. Let me get rid of the saddle. I don't want the saddle. Uh, I should be able to go to my villagers who, I don't know if they're all awake. Yeah, they're all awake because of the raid. Um, they should be giving me free goodies. Let's go up. Um, let's go up top first and see if these guys want to give me anything for free. Um, eat some chicken. Well, these guys are all just asleep. Well, not all of them. Most of them. All right, let's 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 go downstairs. 
Oh, I hate this door. So hard to go through. There we go. So go downstairs. And let's check on these guys. Are, no, you gotta go. There you go. Are these guys all asleep? These guys are all asleep too. Ugh. All right, Nolan, can you sleep? Where are you? Where are you, Nolan? Hmm. Nolan. Oh, I think I see him. Yeah, he's like way out there. Go to my base if you have to. Yeah, I don't mind if he sleeps in my bed. That's cool. Um, there he is, way, way, way over there, and he's moving. Um, but I don't know what he's what he's doing. I don't I don't know if he's got a bed or not. All right, let's lay down. See what happens. Is he sleeping? Is he sleeping? Oh no, TJ joined the game. And he's down in the bed. All right, I'll be back with you guys when it's daytime and these villagers are awake. Okay, so I've been thinking long and hard about how I can keep all my valuables safe. I've got redstone blocks, I've got lapis blocks, I've got diamonds, I've got coal, I've got tons of iron, I've got sea lantern, slime balls, coal, I've got gold, I've got everything and I need to keep this safe. So. Here's what I've done. I've created a secret, yes, a secret vault. Now, I can't show you where the secret vault is, but what I can say is it involves a button that looks a lot like a rock. And when you press this button, what? Well, nope, I can't, nope, I'm not gonna show you. I'm not gonna show you my secret vault. But I will show you the inside, so we're gonna cut away from this scene and I will show you the inside of my secret vault. Be back with you in a second and here we are inside my super secret vault. Look at this place. This is amazing. I've got tons of chests. Now, in this chest, I'm thinking we put all of our diamonds. In this chest, I'm thinking we put all of our iron. In this chest, we could put all of our redstone blocks. And uh, let's go over here and put in this chest our lapis, and in this chest our gold, and in this one we can put obsidian, and oh my goodness, there's so many chests. There's so many chests. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We could put our coal in there. We could put our slime balls in here. And I've got to go get the rest of my slime balls from my slime farm. I can put my quartz in here, my sea lanterns in here. This is incredible. Now, no one will ever find my secret vault. And I've got redstone contraptions all over the place. Look at that redstone. I, I don't want to show you all of the redstone, but I got redstone contraptions so that. Um, no one can ever find my secret vault with all of my super secret stuff. So this is going to be awesome. So I'm going to get ready to leave because I got an exit to my secret vault. There's, a, there's an exit which also has some, some redstone stuff. And so I'm going to keep that a secret too um, so you don't know where I come out. But I got to cut this. So see you guys in a second. And that is my super secret vault. Oh, so excited, so excited about my super secret vault and no one will ever find it. Oh, this is great, this is great. Wait a second, wait a second. I showed you guys on video. You guys know where my secret vault might be. Hmm, you're not gonna tell anyone, are you? You're not gonna tell anyone, are you? I hope not, I hope not. If you do, you know what's gonna happen. You know what's gonna happen, right? Right? No, I'm just kidding. I would never do that. I would never do that. But please, please don't tell the kids because they might steal my stuff and that would not be good. Okay, so um, we're gonna need to spend some time taking all of my stuff, all of my valuable things to my super secret vault, which is somewhere else. I'm not gonna say where, um, but anyway. Um, and we might have to move our fishing machine too. I don't. I don't know because uh, this tends to keep a lot of valuable items, like the Nautilus shells that TJ stole. So I don't know what we're gonna do about that, but um, we're gonna have to figure that out. But for now, Nolan paid me a whole bunch of iron 
to get him one of those villagers and transport it to his place. So we're going to do that right now. Um, and I'm going to take a little boat over. Oh, there we go. A little boat. Over and, oh, I can't do that. I need a piston and a lever. Without a piston and a lever, it's really hard to move a villager. So let's see. A uh, piston. Got a piston and a lever. There we go. That should be good. All right. So piston, lever, move a villager. I will be back with you guys as soon as we've done that. And maybe we'll take a look at the other kids' bases. Oh, my goodness. So this is the house that uh, Nolan made for the villager that he wants. Um, but let's let's check this out. You see how high this house is? Look at how many... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, title. Oh my goodness, it is so high up there. I don't know. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to be able to get that villager up all of these levels. Um, this is going to be interesting, to say the least. Um, all right. Well, here we uh, here we go. Let's give this a shot. I'll be back with you in a minute. That was hilarious. I am so sad I did not get it on video. Um, so here's what happened. I decided to break the boat down at the shore because I figured Man, if he walks around, maybe he'll walk up the hill. But the first thing he did was he um, went straight to Nolan's little fishing machine over here. And I was like, why is he going straight to Nolan's fishing machine? And he went through the door because there was a door here. And um, he opened the door, closed the door, and he went right in because there was a grindstone in the corner and he wanted the job of a weaponsmith. And so he thought this was a little house and he thought that was his profession. And I was like, oh, well, I'll just steal the grindstone and the door and I will put it up into Nolan's little uh, villager hut. And the villager walked right to it. It's like he was trying to get to the grindstone. And so he just walked right over here. Um, but he can't open these trap doors up like he just he can't open them um, or really walk through which is interesting so it's a nice little um, trap that Nolan kind of devised and uh, the grindstone and the door worked perfectly to get him in there so okay well that's done Nolan you have your villager um, so let's go check out the other bases because I hear Bradley's doing something really weird and look at that big giant tower up in the sky Something is going on. He is doing something. Let's go and check it out. All right, see you in a second. Okay, so we are over at Bradley's base, and can someone, can someone tell me what this thing is? Oh my goodness. It, it looks like uh, red and blue and brown, and oh my goodness. Tell me in the comments. Somebody, please, tell me in the comments what you think this is it's clearly made out of redstone and lapis and wood and a little bit of sand um it is right in front let me yeah okay it is right in front of bradley's little villager thing one diamond to trade i'm a little confused Ooh, look at that knockback bookshelf he's created himself a little bit of a a, a villager thing here a little villager breeder and it looks like he's charging people to trade. I don't charge people to trade with my villagers. Um, anyway, this is interesting. Very, very interesting. Bradley has got himself a little villager breeder slash trading hall. And he's got an iron golem over here. Look at this iron golem right here. I wonder, I wonder if I should kill the iron golem. Nah, I'm not going to kill the iron golem. That's Bradley's. Um, but... This is pretty interesting. Um, ooh, look at this. Uh, an armor. Yeah. You guys are uh, pretty um, pretty excited to trade with people. All right, so uh, that's, that's Bradley's um, whatever that thing is. Uh, you guys are going to let me know what that thing is. And um, I want to know what this giant tower is. Like, what, what is this and why? And how... Can you even get up there? Did he put a ladder or anything? It's just a big, giant tower. And a little hole right here. Um, and sea turtles. And a hole. Oh, look, there's another villager. Hi, villager. Do you trade anything? You don't trade anything. Okay. 
And a chicken farm. And, ooh, what's this? What is this? I haven't seen this. This is looking cool. It's like uh, a little fortress thing. What has Bradley been doing over here? All right, all right. So maybe I get up. Yeah, all right. I'm on top of it. Okay, here's the way in. Yeah, all right. It's just, um, it's just a little fortress thing. But I think I'm trapped in here now. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I can get out. So that's a problem. Um, well, I'm going to have to break my way out, I guess. So let's do this. I'll break out this way. Those are stairs. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, Bradley. Let's see what you're trying to do. It looks pretty cool. All right. Let's go check out um, Beast's base, or uh, Brandon. Man, I'm bouncing around all over the place. It's crazy. Um, grab my boat, go over, and uh, let's see what he's up to. Last time we saw him, he was putting some magma blocks down. Uh, looks like he got rid of the magma blocks. He's now created a sandy little beach area. Put a fence around his crops. That's pretty cool. I like this. I like this. It says fresh food, low prices. Still got the Kroger sign up. I'm liking, I'm liking, I'm liking what he's doing with the place. Let's see. What else is he doing? What else is he up to? Um... Ooh, this is new. Jeb in the house. Um, no? Okay, what's this? Jeff will be with you shortly. Welcome to Banner King. Oh, yeah, we saw this last time. This is this is Jeff the Banner making whatever zombie guy. Um, uh, well, I want to see if he's done anything with this. Um, man, it's hard to get up there. He's been farming a lot of sand. Has he done anything with this burning inferno? No, no, it's still just an empty thing. All right, all right, not not bad, not bad. Um, ooh, what's that? Oh, look at this cool little fountain. Oh, that's so cool. It's got bubbles in it. He's put glass around it. Oh, Brandon, I love this little fountain. That is a nice little fountain that you got there. And a hole in the ground in the water. Um not sure why or what but okay um so that's cool let's um let's go check out tj's base or cruel friend um looks like he's been doing some work over here oh my goodness look at this place uh let's let's go in here he's got a chest on the floor with nothing in it he's got okay all right was that iron I think I saw, hold on, hello, 24 iron ore, needs to smelt that stuff up, alright, let's see what else we got over here, a little hallway, this is pretty cool, he's making like a little complex over here, this is looking sweet, alright, alright, and still got the stairs, vroom, right up the stairs, ooh, he's got a cow, moo, if he gets another cow, he can make a little cow farm and start breeding them. That'd be sweet. Um, what we got over here? Lots of eggs. This must be his chicken farm. And this must be where he cooks his chicken. Uh, ah! I always step on those things. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Anything else? Um, I don't know if I've seen this thing over here. I think I might have seen it before. But let's go take a look and see what it is. It is a note block. I wonder... Maybe it's like... This is supposed to be TJ's fishing machine, eventually? I don't know. Anyway, let's, uh, oops, I gotta climb up there. There we go, parkour a little bit. Uh, what do we got over here? Nothing, no, nothing, literally nothing. And anything inside that's new and exciting? You know what, it kinda looks a little cleaner in here. Kinda looks like he's cleaned it out just a bit, that's nice. How do I get to the upstairs? Oh, there it is, the ladder. Ladder. Let's go upstairs. And, um, not much up here. Is there a third floor? I thought there was a third floor. There is a third floor, but I can't get to the third floor. I'm going to break that. I'm going to break that. I'm going to put them back. There we go. And I, I don't know how to get up here. Maybe that's, oh, that's the way to get up here. Okay, I figured it out. Oh, and you can even climb up on this tree. That's cool. And he's got stone on top of his tree. 
All right, cool, nice little view. Ooh, look at my castle, look at my stuff over there. Oh man, my base is looking good from here. I like it, I like it. Look at, castle lit up, castle dark. Castle lit up, castle dark. I wonder why it does that. Anyway, my castle's looking sweet. Oh man, and then Bradley's thingamabob. I mean, you gotta tell me in the comments what that thing is. But that's going to be the end of today's episode. I'm going to finish it right on top of TJ's base. I hope you have a good one. And God bless and goodbye. See ya.